the burden and standard of proof in criminal cases the general rule in criminal cases is that the cannot be convicted unless court is sure or satisfied beyond reasonable doubt that prosecution evidence has to prove the facts against the defendant beyond reasonable doubt in order to convict that defendant however judges have been warned against using it in jury trials the crown court compendium suggests telling the jury they must be sure of guilt this tends to prevent awkward questions coming to them as to what amounts to the reasonable doubt the general rule as to legal burden of proof because it is prosecution who will lose if the court is not so satisfied it is said that the prosecution bears the legal burden of proof so in criminal cases throughout the trial the legal burden of proof is on the prosecution and they have to prove their facts by giving evidence against the defend against the defendant whether or not the prosecution has discharged the legal burden of proof depends on the whole of the evidence not only on the prosecution evidence sometimes even the defendant's evidence could prove the prosecution case against the defendant sometimes the prosecution case is strengthened when the defendant gives evidence particularly if jury thinks he is clearly lying the burden of proof throughout the case remains on the prosecution so it is the prosecution in the criminal cases who has to prove the facts against the defendant in order to convict that defendant just because defendant goes to a witness box does not mean that burden of proof shifts to him so in criminal cases defense also goes to the witness box but it does not mean that the burden of proof has been shifted it remains on the prosecution throughout the case